So to understand the second situation of determining the IRR, I have taken the problem. What is the second situation? The situation is when the inflows are uneven or say where there is differential cash flows after taxation. The question is, calculate the internal rate of return from the following data. Initial investment is rupees 120,000. Life of the asset is 4 years and the estimated net cash flows are as follows. And you have the data given to you for the 4 years. And it is 30,000, 40,000, 60,000 and 40,000. 30,000, 40,000, 60,000 and 40,000. So what do you understand from this? The information, the inflows are uneven. It is a situation where you have differential cash flows after taxation. So we have to use the trial and error method in this case. Okay. So, uh, trial and error method has to be used, but prior to that we have to compute the present value factor. Okay, so let's see the solution. So, uh, let's go to the solution. Okay, as I said, the differential cash flows after taxation is found in this question. So, we have to be slightly different in our approach while calculating the IRR. So, what do we have to do? As usual, we have to take the present value factor. There is no change over it. Okay, so take the initial investment. I will repeat this. Divided by annual cash inflow. Okay. So, uh, what is the initial investment in this case? Uh, 1,20,000. And the annual cash inflow. Now, annual cash inflow, you have to average it. You have to average the annual cash inflow. So, average of the annual cash inflow. So, uh, 30,000 plus 40,000 plus 60,000 plus 40,000. How much is it? Divided by 4. The 70, 70 plus 60 is uh, 130, 130 uh, plus uh, 40 is 170 divided by 4. How much is it? It is 42,500. So this is the average annual uh, cash inflows. Okay, so take 42,500 here. So now taking the computation 1 lakh 20,000 divided by 42, it is 2.8235. Okay, now I have to find out where is this 2.8235 lying in the annuity table. Okay, so in the annuity table, I need to find out where is this line. So when I refer to the annuity table, I got to know that I am referring to the annuity table as I said, you have to refer to your annuity table too for uh, 4 years. Remember, okay, it is 4 years in this case. We found that 2.914 is there at... 14%. Okay. 2.914% and then at 15% we have a value of 2.855. Remember. Now we don't have any other value. Okay. So uh, which is uh, uh, closer to this. So these are the two values that we have to take and this is going to be your IRR. So you can't say IRR lies between 14 uh, and 15%. Okay. So you have to interpolate. That is when we are going to bring the trial and error procedure. Okay. So I need the space here. So I will erase this. Just remember your IRR now lies between 14% and 15%. Okay. Now it's uh, it, it, from this we are going to calculate the IRR. So, uh, let's start the solution now. Um, as it is, we have found that uh, the IRR lies between 14% and 15%. You can't stop at that point. Okay, You need to be accurate in giving the results. Especially when it comes to consultancy and all, we have to be very, very clear in our results. Okay, so let's take, what are the things which are common? I always tell uh, my students to take the things which are common. And that which is uncommon, maybe you can uh, place them in the uh, columns conveniently. Okay, so 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, then we have the cash flows which is after tax, uh, 30,000, we have 40,000, 60,000 and 40,000, right? Okay, now since your IRR lies between 14% and 15%, I have to shuttle between 14% and 15%, okay? So I take the discount factor at 14%, then the PVCIF at 14%, okay? Same way. Same way, you are going to take the discount factor at the rate of 15%, then the PVCIF at the rate of 15%. Okay, so this would help us to uh, uh, compute the IRR with the help of the formula. So I will take my calculator now, you to take the calculator. Let's take what is 1 divided by 1.14. 
Okay, it is 0 0.877. Same way you take 0 0.769, 0 0.675 and 0 0.592. Now multiply, okay, 30,000 into 0 0.877, 26,310, 40,000 into 0 0.769 is equal to 30,716. Then we have 60,000 into 0 0.675 which is equal to 40,500. Then we have 40,000 into 0 0.592 which is equal to 23,618. Okay, total this up. So we need to total all this up, okay? We have just taken the values and when we total this up, we get 121,250, okay? So this is your total PVCIF at the rate of 14%, okay? This is the uh, lower dry rate. Same way you have to find out the discount factor for 15%. So 1 divided by 1.15 is how much? 0 0.869 or you can even, uh, because you have the next number 5, so you can make this as 870 into equal to 0 0.756, 0 0.658, then 0 0.572. Okay, same way uh, multiply 0 0.870 uh, into 30,000 is 26,100. 0.756 into 40,000 is 30,240. 60,000 into 0 0.658 is 39,480 and lastly we have 572 into 40,000, 22,880. Same way total it up at 39,480 and 32,40 and 2,600 you get the value. Okay, so understanding uh, that this is at the rate of 14% and this is at the rate of 15%. Keep this in your mind. Now we are directly going to the formula. So what is the formula? IRR at any point of time is equal to lower trial rate. Okay, lower trial rate. LTR is a lower trial rate plus. Okay, so you have to take PV at LTR. PV at LTR minus initial investment divided by PV at LTR. Minus PV at HDR. Okay, I'll use the word higher trial rate. Into the difference between HDR minus LTR. This is the formula. Always keep this in your mind. Lower trial rate. LTR is a lower trial rate. Although there are different ways of approaching uh, the answer. This uh, seems to be very easy when I teach uh, to my students. And students also find this very uh, easy. Uh, so therefore I have taken up the same formula. LTR plus PV at LTR minus initial investment. Divided by PV at LTR minus PV at HDR, that is the higher trial rate. Now, what is the higher trial rate? You have 15%. Lower trial rate is 14%. Okay, into difference between, difference in the sense, minusing the HDR and the LTR. HDR minus LTR is a uh, difference there. Now, apply the formula. So, what is LTR? LTR is 14% here. Okay, 14 plus. PV at LTR. PV at LTR is nothing but 1 lakh. 21,250 minus what is the initial investment here? Initial investment is 1,20,000. Okay, this is what we have given in the question divided by period LTR, which is 1,21,250 minus 1,18,700 into the difference between 15% and 14% is, of course, 1. Okay, this difference is 1. So apply 14 plus. So find out what is the difference, students. Of course, this is 1250 divided by 121,250 minus 18,700 is equal to 2550 into 1. So, therefore, find out what is it? 14 plus. Okay. So, 1250 divided by 2550 is equal to 0 0.49. So, the answer is 14.49 percent. So, you can say that Ayala accurately. IRR accurately is 14.49. Instead of saying 14 to 15%, we are now assured that the internal rate of return is going to be 14.49%.